And amid global concern, French President Emmanuel Macron is now calling on world leaders at the G7 summit to put those massive fires in Brazil's Amazon at the top of the agenda this weekend and direct resources needed to help Brazil put them out. For his part, President Trump says the U.S. is ready to assist with those containment efforts. Christina Coleman joins us live from our West Coast Bureau with the situation that really is causing concern. Hi, Christina. Hi, Eric. Well, thousands of miles of scorched forest, hundreds of burned trees, and giant plumes of smoke so large they can be seen from space. It's all part of these big fires. Today, Brazil's military was deployed to help fight the flames. Fires are common in Brazil during its dry season, but scientists say they're more widespread this year, up by 85 percent compared to this time last year. These NASA images show Brazil swathed in smoke from the vast fires. Brazilians and other South Americans have taken to the streets, demanding the Brazilian government take concrete action to stop the fires. The loss of biodiversity, land, and the risk of health problems from air pollution are all big concerns. I don't have enough air to breathe. I can't sleep. I feel really bad, and sometimes I don't even eat properly because of the lack of air. Brazil's National Space Research Institute doesn't have the exact number of acres that have burned so far, but says between January and August of this year, deforestation as a whole resulted in the loss of 3,751 miles of forest in Brazil. That's larger than the size of Yellowstone National Park. What is happening in the Amazon is a crime. It is an environmental crime. There is a law that protects the Amazon and protects the forest. There has to be guards, there must be environmental police and people controlling illegal deforestation in the Amazon. But that is not happening. President Trump offered help to fight the fire, saying the U.S. stands by, ready to assist. So it will be interesting to see what other world leaders might have to say about these fires at the G7 summit.